Mr. President, I rise today to honor the service and sacrifice of Colt Eugene Allery, the Sheriff's Deputy in Roulette County, North Dakota, who was killed in the line of duty on January 18th. Deputy Allery was just 29 years old and leaves behind his fiancée, Alexandria, his four children, and stepdaughter, along with many family and many friends. Deputy Allery was dedicated to serving the public and spent the last five years working in law enforcement. He started his career as a corrections officer, serving as a police officer in Rolla, North Dakota, and as a tribal police officer for the Turtle Mountain Band of Chippewa Indians, a tribe of which he was a member. He became a deputy with the Willette County Sheriff's Office just three months ago. His colleagues remember him for his friendly and positive disposition and his commitment to making his community and our state safer. He was also well known in St. John, the tight-knit community where he was raised by his grandparents. He was known for always serving his friends and his family. They say Colt was happiest when he was doing things for others, which is why he chose law enforcement as his career. Deputy Allery's life is a reminder to each of us of the enormous debt we owe to all of the men and women in law enforcement who leave home every day and go to work to protect us and to help make our communities and our states safer places, places that we're proud to call home. My wife, Mikey, and I extend our deepest condolences to Deputy Allery's family and friends during this difficult time. Our thoughts and prayers are with his loved ones and his law enforcement colleagues in the coming days and months, and especially today, as Deputy Allery is laid to rest. May God bless him and his family. And with that, Mr. President, I yield the floor and turn to my 